Today guys, we're gonna go over the hollow hold and the Superman holds. Two moves that put together is very, very beneficial to improving your gymnastics, as long as you're doing them the right way. Um, and, and we're gonna dive into some ways to make it a little bit tougher to help you out even more. First thing we're gonna focus on is the hollow holds. Very, very important to improving your core strength and uh, knowing how you need to use your core when you take this to a uh, pull-up bar or wherever you're doing this on the rings, okay? So the first thing we're looking for is we wanna have a really flat back on the ground. That's the most important thing. If I don't have a flat back, my back is arching, I'm putting pressure on my back and not using my abs at all. Okay, so that's step number one. What I'm looking for next is that my legs are very, very straight and this is gonna depend on your mobility as well. If you don't have very good mobility, especially in your hamstrings, you're gonna see a lot of bending um, and you won't be able to keep your legs straight. So I wanted to keep my legs totally straight, pointing my toes out just like I'm gonna be up on the pull-up bar. And then the very last piece of the puzzle to that hollow is that I'm keeping my arms uh, just as straight as my legs back behind me and I'm keeping my chin tucked just like I'm being on the pull-up bar. I'm not trying to tilt my head back because that's gonna mess up my spine. All right, next up is the Superman hold. Not as technical as the hollow, but still, many things you need to watch out for to make sure you're doing it the right way and that skill transfers over properly. So I'm trying to stay nice and high, a really big extension. I'm trying to keep my eyes on the ground. Not, my chin shouldn't be super tucked to my body, but I'm trying to look at the ground so I keep my spine nice and neutral. My arms are still gonna be straight out in front of me as, as tight as I can. And if I have a problem with this, I can grab something like a PVC pipe and then my legs are just ex as extended as my arms and still very high off the ground. So I'm squeezing my butt, squeezing my hamstrings and pointing those toes. Okay, now that we know what movements we're doing, the hollow hold and the Superman, we're gonna talk about how to scale these movements and how to make them uh, even tougher to improve our gymnastic uh, ability and the harder movements. So if I need to scale this, I can bring my arms and my legs as high as I need to to the ceiling as long as I'm staying flat on my back. That's the most important thing. I'm still trying to lengthen out my arms and my legs. And then from there, I can try to start coming down lower and lower. Now, to make this harder, I'm gonna add a rock to this hollow hold and still keeping the same tight form. Just a tiny little rock right on my lower back. That's for the, the hollow rocks. Now, in the last part, I can add it, making it even tougher, rocking back and forth without touching the ground with any of my limbs, back and forth from the hollow hold to the Superman to make this even tougher. Okay, now that I practice the hollow rock and the Superman hold, I'm gonna take these things to the pull-up bar, to the uh, gymnastic rings, and use these techniques to make my pull-ups better, toes to bar, muscle ups, all the different things that I'm working on in my gymnastics to make better. This has been Inside the Box with Coach Charlotte. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you share it, and then you go on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those good things. You go to our website, follow us on everything possible. Uh, keep up to date with our videos.